All right, Pops, we have the fastest and slowest selling cars in the United States of America right now. Let's run through them. Yeah, we do. And and there's a theme, and it begins with a T and ends in an A. Maybe you can figure it out, folks. Toyota, first things first, methodology, folks. We use market day supply to determine the fastest and slowest selling cars in the United States of America. And so when we talk about market day supply, that means how many days it would take to sell all available inventory of a particular vehicle based on current sales rates and how much inventory is available. The lower the market day supply, the more, uh, the more quickly that vehicle is selling, the higher the market day supply, the more stagnant that inventory is. Let's start with number five on the fastest selling side pops. It is that first Toyota on the list of many Toyotas, the Corolla Cross, which has a 36 days supply and means that it would take 36 days to sell all 12,399 of these for sale nationwide. That is a very low day's supply and a very fast selling vehicle. Uh, that is, but it's not the lowest day supply. It's not the fastest selling vehicle. It's only the fifth fastest selling vehicle. And what this means is that on a negotiation basis, you're probably not going to be able to negotiate a great deal off the vehicle. Now, that being said, back at CarEdge.com, right now, between now and Labor Day, we are offering a discount on Car Edge Insights, which helps you negotiate the best possible deal. So definitely check out that information back on CarEdge.com. Even for these fastest selling vehicles, you can get an edge with Car Edge. Not sure how I feel about that. All right, Dad, number four. On the list, we have the Honda Civic. It is the fourth fastest selling vehicle in the United States of America right now with a 34 days supply, meaning those nearly 14,000 Honda Civics would be gone if Honda's not producing more of them in a month, in 34 days. That is insane. Um, it is. It's good to be a, a Honda salesman. I'll tell you that. And I will also mention that this is one of the few vehicles on the list, both the fastest and slowest selling list, that's under $30,000 with an average selling price of $27,639. And you will see a theme here beyond Toyota. There's also affordability as a theme. You see that yes. next with the Toyota Camry at number three, a 31 day supply, sub $35,000 average transaction price and nearly 26,000 of them for sale nationwide. Once again, a low negotiability score because, well, uh, demand is outstripping supply at the moment. Toyota RAV4 coming in at number two, 38,550 of these bad boys for sale nationwide. And literally in 30 days, if Toyota stopped producing them, all dealers would run out of inventory. That is bonkers. And number one, Dad, is the Toyota Highlander. It's the highest priced vehicle on this list at almost $50,000. Yet there's only 6,000 of these available for sale nationwide, and they are selling like hotcakes because it's a Toyota. Uh, yep, and it also means, once again, uh, the ability to get a tremendous amount of savings is somewhat limited on vehicles that are in short supply but high demand. So again, the themes there, Toyota, Honda, low price points, and reliable, those are going to be your fastest selling vehicles, the ones that are the most difficult to negotiate on. Then, Dad, the opposite end of the spectrum, these are the slowest selling cars, trucks, SUVs in the United States of America right now. I really want you to focus. Let's start at number five, Deb. The Lincoln Aviator has a 382 days supply. That means if Lincoln stopped producing new aviators, it would take them 382 days based on current sales rates to sell the 8,953 of these that are currently available nationwide. $70,000 average transaction price though. I thought it'd be even higher. Well, and the really good news is, is you can get two, maybe a little more than two of those Corolla Crosses uh, at, at that type of uh, transaction price. Um, it, what this shows is that you should be able to score significant savings on this type of vehicle. And what that also suggests, Pops, is that the manufacturer, Lincoln in this case, has really big incentives on this type of vehicle because they know it's not something. They look at this market-based supply data and they know that they have to incentivize the sale. So not only can you negotiate a big dealer discount with this information, you can also look for manufacturer incentives that should be fairly large to try and move that vehicle. Number four on the list, slowest selling car in the United States, the Maserati Levante. Pops, we've got a 410 days supply of the Levante 602 for sale nationwide and a six-figure transaction price. Yes, and it will only take a little more than a year if they didn't ship any more to their dealers to sell out the current inventory they have. Um, perhaps the Maserati Levante was the answer to the question no one 
ever asked. We've got our first EV on the slowest selling cars list. Number three, the Mercedes-Benz EQB, the crossover SUV, 425 days supply for this $63,000 electric vehicle. 3,546 of these for sale actively right now in the United States of America, and it would take significantly over a year to sell all of them based on current sales data. That is shocking. Uh, not only that, there's probably, probably isn't a Mercedes-Benz dealer in America not asking themselves, how did we end up with so many of these? What have we got to do to get rid of them all? Number two on the list is the Jeep Grand Wagoneer. Uh, over $100,000 asking price on these things, a 428 days supply, and more than 2,200 of them sitting on dealers' lots right now. Right now, Go to the Car Edge car search, folks. Search for the Wagoneer, and you will see 600 days on the lot, 300 days on the lot, 200 days on the lot. These things, Dad, your turn. They're boat anchors. They're just sitting there doing nothing. Um, and quite honestly, they probably should be used as boat anchors because this the Jeep Grand Wagoneer was probably one of the worst decisions that any automobile manufacturer ever made. Yeah, and let's go back to my comment about affordability. Multiple vehicles on this list, over $100,000. Obviously, that's got to be factoring in. Does someone really want to spend over $100,000 on a Jeep? Yeah, I think the data says no. Number one yes. on the list, Dad, a uh, defending champion of the slowest selling vehicle <laughs> in the United States of America would be the Dodge Hornet. A 429 days supply of the Dodge Hornet in the United States right now, nearly 15,000 for sale and a sub $40,000 price point for a gussied up Fiat. How do you feel about this then? Uh, well, it's a gussied up Alfa Romeo. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Yes, thank you. It is. How do I feel about it? I think that says that even at sub $40,000, if you're building something nobody wants, you can't price it attractively enough to get somebody to buy it. And and the Dodge Hornet has been the leader in the clubhouse for close to a year now in the slowest selling vehicles based on day supply. This, this, this was definitely the worst decision ever. There have been ongoing 0% for 84 months promotions from Dodge to try and move these things. Folks, if you're looking for the most negotiable vehicle in the United States of America right now, head into your local Dodge dealership. Actually, don't use our email templates. They're free and they're online. But you know, you could go work a deal on a Dodge Hornet. That's for damn sure. We'll come back with the latest data on this next month. Stay tuned for that. Thanks as always, Pops. Thank you, Handsome. Car Edge Concierge, the revolutionary way to buy your next car. You tell us what you want, and our team of experienced concierges goes to work on your behalf. They source the vehicle, negotiate the price, and make arrangements to have it delivered to you directly. Never set foot in a car dealership again. CarEdge.com slash concierge to learn more about how you have the power to save both your time and money. Let the car buying revolution begin at CarEdge.